Tomorrowland is exactly like a theme park. When you see it, you are super excited, giddy, you're full of energy. But once you've been around the park for a while, you start to get a bit tired and ready to go home. When you get so far into the movie, you start to wonder what has actually happened. Nothing really, and it never really goes anywhere. It is incredibly bloated, and at two hours, I just felt incredibly disappointed with this original film. As it turns out, it's just like every other generic film, which is often based on a young adult's book. Even our female lead, it wasn't very original. I can just see the casting agents all sat around, thumping the table, shouting madly, we need a Jennifer Lawrence slash Shailene Woodley clone! Now, people, now! And speaking of clones, do Disney have a cloning lab somewhere? All the young people look the same. You know, Disney could actually make a movie based on the fact that there is a secret lab cloning young children in the undergrounds of Disney World, next door to Walt's frozen butt and that would have made an interesting Tomorrowland. And oh my, the film sets itself up to feel disinterested from the moment they start playing It's a small world after all. If you haven't requested it, no one should have to endure that song, no matter what language it is in. It was Hugh Laurie that kept my interest up just this little bit, but saying that, I felt that even he felt like he was restricted. It really felt like the director had swayed him into being this English house when Laurie has so much more to offer. He knew he could have pulled out his talents from like Blackadder, Fry and Laurie, and created this one epic character. And I'm still not entirely sure what Clooney's character was all about, other than the fact that he was channeling Harrison Ford. Tomorrowland seems to act as a campaign for Greenpeace, and then on the side, promoting Disney's theme parks. It even gets cheeky and gets some sly Star Wars promotion in there. All in all, it all just seemed a bit preachy and brainwashy. The visuals are quite spectacular at first. Like I said, person excited running around a theme park. It's so bright, it's so glossy. And then when you've been staring at it for a while and having a few more glances, is this really what the production team had to offer? add the storyline to the visuals, and I started to think I'd gone back in time to a movie of the 90s, never mind the future. And is the story of believing a little outdated now too? I almost felt like they were gonna cry out, I do believe in fairies, I do, I do. <laughs> At one point, it just, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love that moment in Peter Pan, but when it comes to a sci-fi adventure movie based on a section of a theme park disguised as a dumbed-down version of Interstellar, I expect a little more than, she can save us because she believes. Tomorrowland feels like it is just a set-up movie for sequels, but due to its scrambled story and laboured script, I'm not certain there will be any sequels in the near future. Well, Disney, there's always Frontierland, Fantasyland, and Main Street USA. Just please don't.